Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back to Ancient's Play. So I have here at my back my DC characters collection. They're one for scale. I also do have another scale, um, the Arkham Line series, which is mostly one third scale. I do have one Hush, which is the Superman Prime one. That one is something special. Uh, but this one, these guys here at my back are the one third scale. Most of, I guess, all of them is sideshow. Premium format, I oh, know not premium format because there's also one thing at the back there which is pretty amazing. So I do really hope you enjoy and learn something from this one. Mostly like I'm also showcasing you that what you need to be careful with with regards to cleaning them because I am actually cleaning them right now. So those are some tips uh, and basically enjoying again this amazing uh, pieces here at my back. Uh, I really. Um, let's say when I brought them back out, I really enjoyed looking at the, the Swamp Thing back here and also the Bane. They're pretty amazing, very big, also heavy and they have tons of details. So I hope you like the video and also click the thumbs up and help me share with everyone. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get some of this amazing pop culture videos weekly. So subscribe to my channel, The Ancient's Place. So the first one here is Bane, um, he's very big, like really big, huge, so I know Sideshow is a new one, um, I always prefer this big brute uh, version, like he's jacked up already uh, with all the venom, um, I, I just like my, vein, uh, my, my Bane that way uh, because I love or the, at least this is, the, this is how I know him in the animated series that he's very big so i really love this but the best part of this piece is actually uh, one of which is the face i really love this face i know that this is not the typical bane in the animated series but i really love the expression and everything um also the paint application in this one is pretty good like really very beautiful um really well done i think the very difficult part in cleaning of this is actually the mixed media where you have to be careful and for me i made sure that i didn't put him in a very uh, humid place so that at least it might not get mold so so far i didn't see any molds but i need to do i need to dust him as well so look at this one a uh, last look at this huge piece this is being by sideshow collectibles the next one here is the charming um harley quinn i really love this piece um She's very dynamic. The only complaint for me here is the one is the small and tiny uh, parts here. I'm always scared that every time I move this piece, I might hit those. Really scary. I think that those are real wires, but still it's very scary for me. Uh, and the other part is actually the, <clears throat> how would say the, the, this, this arms here or this i do not know this hammer um every time i move i always move this as well remove this because i'm really scared of moving it um i'm really scared that i might hit it and then fall down so just do be careful when cleaning her up so though those face are very amazing i really love the face look at that one i love the pose very dynamic so this is sideshows um harley quinn the next one is Mr. Free, so he is one of the new ones that arrived this year. He's pretty good, like I really love this piece. I know that he's a bit expensive, but I really love the design and everything. Um, I like the, the small details that it has, like the Batman Batarang there. Really amazing stuff and my best part is actually the color scheme of this. It incorporates the animated series that's one very good thing because i always love that animated series and also the the face itself it's really good it's very well done you should check my uh, review and the showcasing of this piece so you can check it in the link below uh so that you'd see how amazing 
this piece especially in a, uh, a moody lighting so check it out as well so when I move this around I always remove the batarang and also the head uh, and also the, especially the glass sometimes I remove the arm as well but sometimes I don't but just do be careful the most tricky part is actually the, the cape so just do be careful on that one so this is Mr. Freeze by Sideshow Collectibles the next one here is Swamp Thing he's an amazing piece this is a maquette uh, but this piece is huge like really huge look at that guy um, a lot of complaints about this that it is um, PC, PVC but that doesn't really matter to me because it's just amazing piece I really love this look at that look at those details no matter if it's P PVC or polystone those details are there the base is actually the most heavy part to be honest but it has a very beautiful uh, base like water effect there like swampy kind of thing really beautiful amazing piece for this one so the every time I clean him clean him up I always be careful about these tentacles there um, other than that he's mostly easy to clean with a brush that I have um, but either way huge piece actually very heavy as well an amazing really good piece one of my favorites in my collection so this is Cranius. Um, he's very easy to clean up. So this is actually, or he is actually, uh, an exclusive of the Swamp Thing maquette. Um, I, I really like the exclusive because it gives how how creepy these two are, uh, which is pretty good. So the next one here is a very dynamic Barry Allen, the Flash, premium format by Sideshow Collectibles. Um, what I really love about this piece is the, the the musculature that has been done. It's very beautiful. Look at that. Let me try to focus it again. There you go. Really well done by Daniel Bell. I really love the pose. And the only thing you also have to be careful with is basically this small or tiny... Um, I don't know scaffolding or I, I like uh, metals um, they're not metal they're basically plastic uh, but you do have to be careful when you try to move them because you will hit them I think I hit some good thing it didn't break but it's quite scary knowing that the the spec here is well really well done uh, there's a key there very big key uh, which basically makes sure that um it wouldn't lean eventually so look at this he looks pretty amazing the sideshow uh, flash um premium format exclusive the last but definitely not the least the very pretty um diana prince she is very gorgeous i would have to say one of the best sculpts and a uh, face skull uh, face painted um, piece from sideshow she just looks gorgeous um, I remember my only complaint about this one when it came out was because of the skin tone so the skin tone looks a bit reddish to be honest um, that's quite annoying uh, especially when I got him got, got her out back here um, with the daylight and really white lighting uh, outside in the living room because you can really see the reddish color of the skin tone um, but if it's in the in the in the collection room you really wouldn't notice that especially with the dim lights but either way she looks very good uh, I really love this uh, the only thing you have to be careful with when guards to cleaning is these hands here you have to be careful those and also those tiny flames and especially when moving you also have to be careful about those noses as well look at those be careful um, about those things and normally I remove this back part as well because I'm really scared that it might fall off so this is um, Wonder Woman by Sideshow Collectibles
So there you go. These are my collection, DC collection, one for scale. So I hope you enjoyed it. So stay tuned for the next video from Ancient's Place.